Just while I'm thinking about it, a uh, little public safety announcement. We use a lot of knives and blades and stuff, right? Big suckers like that. Sharp suckers like that. For anybody starting off, it's been my experience that a dull blade is much more dangerous than a sharp blade. And the reason is a sharp blade does what you want it to do and when you push it through the plastic it cuts. Now a grazing wound will split you open with this, right? But a dull blade, it doesn't push right through the plastic and I tend to push harder. Then the blade slips and it's still sharp enough to cut you. So, and it's just my opinion, my experience, but the dull blades are more dangerous than sharp. If you're working with a good tool, good sharp knife, it usually goes exactly where you want it to go. Just be careful not to poke yourself in the eye. All right, back to the build. Hey, so I'm gluing up the side pipes on this car and I've got one of them together. I think that'll look pretty cool on it. Um, it comes with these kind of heat deflector things. I don't know exactly what they're called, but you see all those little holes in there? They're just kind of indents in the kit, right? Well, I'm going to drill them out because it's pretty easy to drill them out, actually. I've started on it. So we'll drill them out. Yeah! Okay, so next up I am going to fill in that hole that I originally cut in this interior tub here. And I've just got some uh, <clears throat> styrene. This is from uh, Evergreen. And I've also got my handy dandy square and some calipers to help me figure this out. Just going to keep it simple and just drop in some plastic there and rebuild that floor. See how it looks out. There's going to be, a, I'm going to put the gas can in the back here. So I don't have to worry too much about detail in the back. I just got to build something to hold that up. Get that pretty much blanked out now you can see in the back corners here I still got a little bit of gap that I have to deal with so I'm going to stretch some sprue and just run that in there I don't know more of a gap filler I don't really want to make weld beads in here I am going to add some rivet detail next but uh, for now stretch some sprue and fill in those little gaps Alright, so I got those gaps kind of cleaned up. I did add some kind of almost like a well bead looking thing across there, but that's going to all be covered up with stowage anyways. So now I'm going to jump over to the nutter from the small shop, and I've got a rivet head on here. This is uh, half a millimeter, which works out to be half an inch, and uh, it's small. Small enough that it looks good and big enough so that you can work with it. So this is real straightforward. You just punch a bunch of holes through this lead sheet that comes with this tool and you end up with tons of little tiny rivets. So to get this stuff on there I just use a number 11. I pick up one rivet, dip it in some CA and then come over here and bunk, put it on. I'll leave you with one question. What do you think I should put in the back of this for stowage? What kind of stuff could I have in there? We're going to have all the gas and everything on the roof rack, but uh, just give me some ideas on kind of accessories that I could put inside this car. I can scratch build it. You know, you can make boxes out of cardboard and stuff like that. So uh, if you have any, any uh, uh, mm, that's where it failed, the brain. Yep. If you have any ideas, let me know. Thanks. God bless you. Thanks for watching. And uh, I'll see you again soon. Bye.